What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back. Overshot my landing there. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. As you can see, the trees behind me and the grass is still dormant. The trees still have no leaves. We're still in the winter months of mid-January. Shout out to my brother, happy birthday. His birthday is January 12th yesterday. Uh, so happy birthday to Adam. He don't watch these a lot, but I just wanna say that whenever I hear mid-January, I think of my brother's birthday. I don't know, it's a sibling thing. But thank you for tuning in today. Uh, we wanna talk about today, I'm gonna just kinda, we're, we're in the winter months. I wanna bring you guys action and hey, this is what we're doing in the lawn, but obviously it's winter. Uh, we got fescue behind me and there's not a lot we can do in the winter time currently so action will come when we get into these warmer months coming on so we're trying to maintain give you videos keep you entertained keep you thinking preparing you for the spring when it hits we've talked about a lot this uh this past winter we've talked about when the proper time is to plant uh, our fescue seed we've talked about watering we've talked about multiple things check out the past videos if you haven't if you're tuning in you're getting ready if maybe it's springtime now when you're watching this and uh, you're trying to get prepared of what to do uh thank you for tuning in and check out some of the previous videos in the content history. Today I want to talk about my favorite new product that I used in 2022 that uh, is actually on sale. And, and the first thing I want to st uh, start off with is a shout out to GCI Turf. I know, very shocking, right? Very surprised that Mr. Ferguson would mention GCI Turf. Um, but I want to mention them because Pete had sent out an email, I believe, on Wednesday. Um, not Wednesday, um, it might have been Tuesday or so, but he sent out an email with a lot, 15% off certain products. He's uh, clearing floor space. Um, I didn't get to read all the email and catch up on it. Mr. Kevin was actually uh, at church telling me about some of it because he did. If you didn't get the email, basically uh, GCI Turf is clearing out some floor space. They're clearing out some of their biostimulants, some of the um, some of the stuff that they get. I believe Mr. Kevin said from South Carolina that gets sent up and they're clearing out stuff to make room for more stuff. That's the best way I'll put Put it there's change going on at gci turf i don't know the details of it uh some that watch this as i say are from gci turf and they're more in the loop on that than i am and maybe they want to explain more but i believe uh, a buddy of mine at work who uh, has met and talked with pete said he's going more tending towards the professional side than the diy -er side i don't know if that's fair to say or not but point being Pete is currently running uh, discounts on his products, 15% on some, which brings me to my best product of last year, which was, um, I don't have it with me because I used it all, but I'll put it either to the left or right, a picture, the 505 um, with the, uh, the calcium added in. 101 is the other one. I liked both of these. Um, last year, as you guys know, was the very first year that I was able to survive. This backyard that you see is not from overseeding in the fall. It's from last 2021 when we planted it. It survived 2022. And then we did pre-emergent back here. It survived. So I go back to what I did this past summer to allow this grass to survive. Now, number one, the biggest thing I did this past summer to survive in the, in the North Carolina heat is we watered. We spent the money and we watered the grass, I believe, either appropriately or beyond what it should have been watered. Now, recently I put up a short uh, talking about we don't want to water, water, water every day our lawns, our roots for fresh grass that we're planting, our roots will just stay on the surface and suck up all that water on the surface. We want our roots to drive down into the ground, right? So we don't want to water every day. Now, when we're getting our seed established, obviously we keep the seed moist till it begins to germinate. Then we begin to adjust our watering schedule. The water was the main reason why I believe we survived the summer this past year. Now, secondly, I believe the calcium from the 505 and the 101 helped out. I, I, I never use calcium. I Watch some videos from Pete. He's a professional. I am not. I'm just a dude with a lawn trying to figure out this thing and navigate what's the best thing. And so last year when it worked, I'm going to try to do that again this year. But Pete put out a video towards the summertime last year talking about how he used the 505. Now, before we go into, well, just because Pete did that, how do you know Pete wasn't just trying to sell you a product and then, you know, I don't know that. Uh, that may be exactly what Pete's doing, but I do know Pete well enough even in just communications and we haven't met in person yet but even in just communications and through his videos the pete loves the lord he is not out to um to uh swindle anybody to manipulate the man sent me a dang backpack sprayer that's 300 and some bucks for free 
out of the kindness of his heart through his business. This is not the kind of man that I believe takes the time to get on video to say, buy this product because I need to make money. I think Pete is doing well and his business is doing well and God will bless him and he knows that. So I trust Pete a lot, a lot more than I'll trust most people in the lawn care industry because the man loves the Lord and he's doing his best to serve Jesus. And most Christians, even back in the day, people used to say, even uh, those that didn't love God, they would be fine when Christians would get into government positions because they knew they were held to account by God's word. They weren't supposed to lie, cheat, steal. And if they did, well, they were breaking their Christian commandments as well as, you know, they'd be betraying the people. So they trusted him a little bit. How true that is, I don't know. Point being, when I put that calcium in my lawn last year, guys, it, I think it helped. He talked about how calcium, and I'm shivering, so I'm sorry if my voice is cold. It is cold out here. But Pete talked about last year in that video how the calcium would help build the cell walls in the plant of the fescue. And I was like, hey, it's worth a try. I took a bottle of 505, I bought a bottle of 101, and I applied that to my lawn throughout May, June, July timeframe and the grass survived now i think the water was the ma the major part of that happening don't don't get me wrong it's not a miracle biostimulant to help your lawn but the 505 gave me a color response in the summertime i believe we put down um some some furt in the summer i can't remember i had to go back and look but we put down some furt in the summer but i'm always nervous about nitrogen and pete has talked about ah, you don't have to be nervous you just don't want to overdo things but i'm nervous and I, and I tend to lay off and i'd rather go liquid and go 505 so last year i believe the 505 i just kind of spoon fed that into the lawn so you're getting that five five percent urea which gives us the color response and then you're getting the calcium as well and then you got the 101 that was also a uh, higher in calcium so it's more like a calcium application but i believe that truly helped it was one of my favorite products of 2022 and so i wanted to mention give a shout out to gci turf again he's he's blessed me beyond what that man owes me he don't owe me anything and pete and gci turf has been so good to me so i just wanted to mention that if you don't know about that sale going on it's a chance if you're if you need some biostimulants if you need some 505 want to try it yourself um, some caltide mr kevin got the double dark cocktail if you need some micronutrients in your lawn he may have soil tests i don't know if he sells that um, but to tons of different stuff on his website go check it out G gciacademy.com if i'm not mistaken if i am Google it. You can find it. It's easy. Let's show love to the local business, to Pete and GCI Turf. He's doing great things over there. I think everybody loves Pete here on uh, on YouTube. Uh, he's just a tremendous guy and a tremendous character. I don't get anything from GCI Turf from mentioning them, from talking, telling you to go to their products. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, affiliated by them, anything. Um, I just I will always support them because they've su supported me when they had no reason to do that and so uh, anyways that's about all i just wanted to talk about that favorite product so again we talked about the last video biostimulants aren't necessarily important to absolutely have a great looking lawn that you can't have a green grass and you can't have a nice looking lawn without biostimulants that's not true it's those that want to go above and beyond and really want to establish that lawn and and do a soil test and do their best to get those micronutrients in and try to kind of fine tune what the soil test is showing them, then biostimulants is great. If you want to continue to be outside in the lawn, maybe you and your wife are fighting right now and you want to go spray something. Well, get, grab you some RGS, grab you some 505, go out and spray the lawn, come back with a cool leveled head, right? And so anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Not exactly the most exciting video, but I did want to share my um, my favorite new product. I, I On this sale, I actually went. Now, it may be sold out because Mr. Kevin said he tried to get 505 and I bought some. Uh, he only had it in quarts and I bought two quarts um, because the gallons were gone and so they may be out right now I don't know and if they are I don't know when they'll be in stock you may need to ask GCI turf but head over there now and uh, see what they've got so God bless you guys I wanted to bring a Friday video to you wasn't sure what to do but this was my favorite product of 2022 if it's not in stock now give it a couple weeks they may have that back that's the only place i know you can buy that uh, if you know other places drop a comment below let me know in the comments below what's your favorite product of 2022 what's your favorite fertilizer maybe you tried something new last year and you was like man this is really good somebody else needs to try this drop it in the comments below thank you guys for tuning in this friday thank you for checking in hope you have a fantastic weekend and we hope to see you monday with another lawn care video if not we'll catch you on wednesday with the mid midweek quickie over on the mr ferguson vlog and try to get you a video on friday as well so we'll see you on the next time god bless